Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys how to use DaVinci Resolve to do some face tracking. Um, so if you've got a shot like this where the actress or the actor is actually moving across the screen and for some reason you would like to apply some exposure or uh, grading to just one specific area like the face um, and for that you will need to do some tracking it's really simple in uh, DaVinci Resolve so let's get started so I'm just gonna create a new timeline uh, in DaVinci and then I'm just gonna drag the clip onto the timeline and we're gonna go into the color section of DaVinci alright so as you can see the actress is moving across the screen so for this specific grade, I'm just going to start with um, a primary grade on this. I'm going to take the saturation all the way down to zero. So because I want to make this piece black and white. And then let's um, just adjust the contrast a bit. So let's give it more contrast. And maybe for some reason I want the shot to be quite dark. So I'm just going to take the lift and drag that down a bit. Maybe even more. Maybe something like that. So immediately you can see... The background is looking quite nice, but her face is just way too dark. So we need to find a way to just put some, um, to adjust the exposure just on her face. And this is actually quite easy to do. So I'm going to create a new node, correct a node, and just drag that onto the line. And in this new connector, I'm going to go to um, the masking page. I think it's actually called window. And then I'm going to enable the circle uh, window or circle mask. Just going to make this smaller. And I'm just going to try and adjust this so it actually fits her face. Maybe something like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the next tab, which is the tracking tab. And then you've got track forward and track backwards. So I'm um, actually started this like in the middle or not in the middle, but um, not at the beginning or the end of this clip, just like somewhere here at the beginning. So you can start anywhere. Just make sure that your mask is covering that area and then click on the track forward and you'll see it's actually going to create these little dots and it's going to start tracking forward through that shot. So let's just give it a few seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to track backwards as well. So before I track backwards, you can see at the bottom, it's got all these tracking data. And what you can do is you can just scrub this backwards a little bit um, to the beginning of uh, these tracking data. It doesn't have to be precise, say about there. And then I'm going to track backwards. So I'm going to click this button here. And you'll see it's going to create the dots again and it's going to start tracking backwards. Now the tracker in DaVinci is really good. It, it's almost like a 3D tracker um, with these points. So it's really accurate. Um, it just works really well. So now I can see we've got that um, mask tracked to a face. And I'm going to go back to the window or the masking um, section here. And what I want to do is I want to increase the softness of this uh, masking area. So just increase that a little bit and then maybe make this overall size a little bit smaller. And you can even do this after the track. As you can see, it's still uh, tracked to her face. And what I'm going to do now on this corrector, I'm going to change or I'm going to increase the gain or the exposure on her face. Let's do that. There you can see it's coming out nicely. So now as you can see, her face is quite nicely lit. And if I disable this, uh, this node, you'll see there's quite a big difference um, just by adding that simple tracker mask. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see the short film, I'll put a link in the description uh, if you're into horror movies. And uh, yes, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to get notified of any new tutorials. Right, see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.